Making electronic devices for biological systems is very challenging. This is because of the differences between the worlds of biology and electronics. Biology is soft and water-based, and it uses ionic charges instead of electrons for signal transmission. Electronics just simply do not understand what living systems are trying to say, or it becomes very difficult to make living systems to respond to electronic cues. My name is Shai Kainal, and I have been always interested in answering these questions. That's why in 2016, I moved to King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, KAUST, to set up my own lab, the lab of organic bioelectronics. My lab deals with organic electronic devices and their applications at the interface with living systems. We use conducting polymers to develop soft, flexible, adaptable, and smart systems to address the needs of clinical problems. Our projects require knowledge spanning from cell biology to neuroscience to polymer physics and electronic device engineering. And our highly interdisciplinary team reflects this need. We also work with very talented chemistry groups around the world who develop polymers for biology. We then take these polymer films and investigate their transport properties. And once we find a very promising candidates, the whole fun part starts because we go ahead into the clean room and start making electronic devices that are biosensors or bioactuators that have properties that exceed the state of the art. In our lab, we work with conjugated polymers, organic materials that can conduct both ionic and electronic charges. Through a combination of characterization techniques, we evaluate the mixed conduction capabilities of any polymer film immersed in a biological-like medium and gain insights into the governing physics underneath. Once we establish the ability of materials to translate signals between the biological and electronic worlds, we use them to fabricate our own devices. One of our favorite devices is the organic electrochemical transistor. The OACT is an electrolyte transistor which uses the conjugated polymer in the channel. Because the OACT operation depends on how well the polymer in the channel conducts ions and electrons, characterizing these devices allows us to benchmark the transport properties of the polymers we study. Since we build biosensors, one of the requirements is the long-term stability of the device. OECTs are the building block of the sensors that we develop in our lab. The conducting polymer in the channel very efficiently converts ionic biological signals into an electrical output that we can understand. The OECT is interfacing directly with living cells. The output signals show us whether these cells are healthy or not and how they can react to external conditions. Using OECTs and electrical monitoring, integrated with our incubator-added microscope, we can visualize non-invasively the growth of the cell during a long period of time. We have developed a multi-OECT platform with 12 well plate formats to grow any type of cells we want. We also use OECT-based sensor to monitor the metabolite consumption or production of these cells. These type of devices have a much higher sensitivity than the commercially available one, allowing us to attain information that have never been revealed before. With another custom-made devices, we can electrically stimulate or record potential from the cell culture, meaning that the action potential propagation along the cell culture can be observed in real time. Our lab is also capable of using alternative fabrication technologies when we need devices that are low cost or disposable. One such technique is inkjet printing. It allows us to fabricate on textile, paper, and on skin tattoos. In our lab, we have a variety of materials to print from, such as organic polymers, 2D materials, metal nanoparticles, and dielectrics. This allows us to make devices such as electrodes, transistor, or even complex integrated circuits. One of the most timely contributions of our lab is the coronavirus sensor that we developed for the first months of COVID-19 pandemic. This sensor relies on the organic electrochemical transistor and highly oriented small nanobody-based receptor. 
Our biosensors can detect the virus directly from a minute amount of saliva samples without any preparation. It is fast, sample to result in 10 minutes, very specific and highly sensitive down to single molecule level. What I found compelling was that these sensors work. They work in uh, all sorts of samples we tried in buffer and plasma and most importantly in saliva which is a very complex and somehow hostile um, biological medium. By just changing the nanobody we can detect other targets. So our hope is that the sensor of course has the capacity and capability to maybe supplant or to complement a huge uh, number of sensors currently used in diagnostics in the clinic or elsewhere. We are very excited about the impact that the technologies that we develop in our lab can have. Through our interdisciplinary teamwork, we aim to contribute to the well-being of millions of people worldwide.